Hi everyone. <clears throat> so there were a bunch of questions last week about <clears throat> about citations in your homework, and I realized very few of you are aware of this very important tool for managing citations and bibliographies that you really need to know about. The name of that tool is Zotero, and this video shows you how to use it. So to use Zotero, we first need to download it. To do that, we'll go to the website, and I'm doing it in Chrome. You're going to want to do it in your primary web, uh, web browser, whether that's Safari, Chrome, or Firefox. Other browsers are not compatible. So we'll go to Zotero.org and click on the download link in the middle of the page. And it'll bring you to a download you know, option. I'm already downloaded Zotero, so I'm not going to click here. But what you'll notice is that there are two parts. There's the desktop application and the connector for your browser. So uh, you're going to want, if you use Chrome and you're on Windows, you're going to download Zotero for Windows and the Chrome connector. If you're using Firefox, you'll use the Firefox connector. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is install those two things, the desktop application and the plugin for your browser. So do that, pause this video, and then come back. Okay, so we're back and Zotero is working. I have, I'll open a new tab in my browser and I can see immediately the Zotero indicator in the, um, in the extensions bar of the, uh, of the browser. It's in a slightly different place in Firefox. Uh, and that just tells me Zotero is up and working. I'll um, uh, then open Zotero. I have Zotero open already. It takes a second to load, so it can be a little bit of a pain. Uh, and you know, if I were, if I look at my library, I see there's a lot of stuff in it. Um, you probably don't have anything in it, and we'll call this. Um, so I'll make a new collection here, just another demo. Um, it's like a subgrouping in my Zotero library, and it's empty. So it'll, this is about what your Zotero will look like when you first start it up. Uh, so Zotero's up and running. Now we leave Zotero, and we spend almost all our time in the browser. <clears throat> so I'm going to start doing some bibliographical research. Um, maybe I'll start by going to the library. And at the library, I'll search for a term that we've used in class, let's say deformance. And when I get the results, I can see there's not that many results. Um, um, maybe I'll get the articles in one place and the books in another, in another tab. Now, when I go to the articles, what I find, interestingly, is that um, the Zotero Z symbol has changed to this folder. That folder means that there are a bunch of um, citations that Zotero found in this web page, and it can use that information to create new citations in your bibliographical database. Uh, you, most of the time, you'll you will um, do your Zotero work basically from that from this interface and import your um, your citations automatically. Um, but I wanted to just show you a little bit of a trick that um, in JSTOR in particular, which we use a lot, <coughs> you'll see you'll get this little icon, this um, uh, paper icon. Um, and if you click on it, it'll download the citation, but also, when it's working right, it will grab the PDF and store that PDF on your desktop. And that way you don't have to keep going back to JSTOR or, uh, or looking through your downloads folder to find the actual um, PDF. However, it doesn't work the first time, and I just wanted to show you that in order to make this work in JSTOR, you have to manually download the PDF first once. Once I've done that, I can then save this file, the, this citation to um, Zotero, and it will both grab the citation information and get the full text PDF. When I go back to Zotero, <coughs> I have the um, 
the item highlighted with a little arrow next to it. And when I click the arrow, I can see that the PDF is present as an attachment. When I click on that, I get the PDF itself just here in my PDF reader. So that is pretty awesome already. Um, but, uh, you know, it's not so super exciting, maybe. Uh, maybe you don't do your citation work mostly from the library. Maybe you do a lot of your citation hunting in Google Scholar. Um, and uh, maybe we're interested in endangered knowledge. And I find, wow, there's lots and lots of stuff about endangered knowledge. And I don't know exactly what I'm interested in. Maybe a lot of stuff. Let's go back to our folder icon. And I'm just going to click a whole bunch of this stuff and see what happens when I import it into Zotero. Some of it, uh, sometimes we're grabbing the PDF and sometimes we're not getting it. Um, If I go to Zotero, I see that I've got all these citations. It's always a good idea to look at your citations when you add them because there could well be errors. There often are small errors in translation, um, with the, especially in Google Scholar. Uh, in JSTOR, I tend to find very few uh, in some of the other services that our library subscribes to. And in our own library's catalog, also there's no problem. Um, but we can see there is a lot of stuff, and it looks like most of the um, um, of the PDFs are downloading properly, which is fantastic. Um, okay, so um, so that worked great. Um, uh, and maybe I will quickly try a book. Remember, we clicked on these books. We can see. But there are, uh, again, many versions here. But why don't we look on, look at this uh, individual book and we'll see we get a different icon here. We get the book icon. So uh, you may see any of a number of icons depending on what kind of thing you're trying to store. So for instance, if we, if we go to the Toronto Star and, I, I, boy, I think this works and click on an article in the star, we'll get a little newspaper icon, um, uh, which means it's a newspaper article. Um, we had a little bit of trouble, and we can see that it didn't quite work. It might be because we downloaded before it stopped. Uh, um, before it stopped loading. So sometimes that there are little things that go wrong. In this case, it's actually maybe instructive to see that because it wasn't, uh, it didn't download quite right. Instead of downloading as a newspaper page, it downloaded as a web page. Um, uh, a bunch of the um, the information is wrong, so the title here is wrong. We'd have to change that. The author we'd have to look for in the article and so forth. So um, so we'd have to manually fill in a bunch of stuff because it didn't quite load right. Um, anyway, so all of that is cool, but we're here because we want to get our citations easily into our easily and flawlessly into our homework assignments. So let's see what it's like to work in Google Docs on an assignment. And maybe we'll call this Zotero Demo Doc. And I am just a demo document. Um, so here I am in in Google Docs, happily typing away. I want to add a citation, and I notice that there, now that I've installed Zotero, there's this new Zotero menu item. So I click on that, and I start by setting my document preferences. And 
this will ask me, and you may get a, a notification about privileges or, or you know permissions. Um, it'll ask me what citation style I want to use. A lot of you, I think, use APA. Some of you maybe prefer to use um, uh, 17th edition of Chicago Manual Style. Um, in, in, in this class, it doesn't matter that much which style you use as long as you use one that contains all the, in the appropriate information. Uh, so I'll say, let's say we're going to use a Chicago Manual Style. Okay, so now the citation style has been set, and I can add a citation. And I'll, this bar will pop up here, and I will quickly start typing uh, a key phrase. This is a little bit slow today. And we'll see I have a bunch of options, and I'll choose just one. And it will uh, it will create the appropriate um, the appropriate citation in the text. And at the when we're we're done with the document, we need to add the bibliography. So we'll go back to Zotero and add a bibliography. And Zotero will go and look for all your citations and produce the appropriate bibliographic entry. Um, you can edit it if you want by, when you click on it, but normally I think it won't be. Um, I thought it wouldn't be editable, but maybe it is. Uh, okay, let me just say one more cool thing. Um, so I'm working, 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 and, and at the end of the, like the two minutes before the deadline, I realized, oh man, my teacher actually said, you have to use the APA, you can't use uh, Chicago. So well, that would be a disaster in your normal life. But um, I'm just going to quickly update the document preferences and change the citation style to APA, and boom. Uh, everything should have updated. It kind of looks pretty similar. <laughs> Let's change it to um, something radically different, like maybe cell. Okay, well, at least the bibliography changed. I, I'm a little bit surprised that the citation there looks as different as it does. Um, yeah. It looks as similar as it does, I mean. Uh, maybe we want Chicago Note. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> So here, Chicago note. Well, if we set set, set it to a, like a, note, uh, a footnote based style, our citation suddenly becomes a footnote and moves to the footnote style. Okay, so phew, we can see that there. Um, <clears throat> we can do the same thing in um, in Word or Open Office. There's a separate connector that has to be downloaded for um, for those programs. Um, and they will give you a set of Zotero um, uh, options in a, a menu bar or a, a ribbon in, um, in Word. And we will just do the, basically the same kind of thing we were doing before. We'll set the, um, the preferences, add a citation. It's this one here. Uh, we get a deformance option, and we'll set it there. And as you can see in LibreOffice, at least the um, it, it's kind of obvious that the uh, the citation is a different kind of text. It's it's highlighted in this funky way, which maybe helps you to keep track of it. Um,
So I really hope that that's useful for you and I strongly suggest that you start using it right away because the, the earlier you learn about it, the more useful it's going to be to you over the course of your undergraduate career. All right, good luck and uh, see you in class.